Let's start with our warm ups and focus a little bit on our upper body today. So spread your toes out, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders, wind up. Core activated with those ribs toward your spine and up to support your back. Shoulders back and down. See if you can release some of that shoulder tension. Arms just relaxing. Crown to the ceiling, focusing on the breath. Exhaling and releasing any tension. And then inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level. Keep those shoulders down. Exhale, hands to your chest. Stretch to the front, shoulders still down. And then clasp your hands behind you. Just gently fingertips together, pressing them to the floor, lifting your heart. Stretch your head back and lift your chest. And then pivot as you exhale, coming all the way over. Deepen as much as your body wants this time and move your chin around. Take a few breaths there. <clears throat> Just relax top of the head down, chin slightly in. Knees slightly bent as you wind up from the bottom of the spine all the way to the top. <clears throat> Drop the shoulders, push your head back and lift your heart. Take a moment and breathe, stretching your spine. <clears throat> Inhale upright, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling that spine warming up. And again, arms to shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp the hands the other way behind you. So it shifts the fingers one position over. Again, lift the heart, stretch your head back, and pivot at your hips, exhaling into that forward deepening. Hands toward the ceiling. Move your chin around again, just releasing things. And then knees slightly bent, work with your all the way up, and lift your heart. Stretch your head back, shoulders down, and don't forget to breathe. And then inhaling, come upright, release your arms, and just take a moment, feeling a little bit more circulation, warming things up, getting ready for our lateral side stretches. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Pull those shoulders, shoulder blades, and sitting bones down. Pass your hands and clasp them. Bring your arms back by your ears. Again, shoulders stay down. And body stays facing the front, no twist as you lean to the side. Feel the ribs open, push the foot you're leaning away from down, reach out through your head and your fingertips, and still keep those shoulder blades going down toward your waist. Inhale back to the center, switch the other hand to the front, and again, pull the arms next to your ears. Stretch out, stay straight, no leaning and just move to the side. So don't lean forward, make sure that shoulder's pulling back. Out through the hands, down into the foot you're leaning away from. And then inhale back to the center, exhale the arms to shoulder level, push it out one way and then the other way, getting those shoulders moving a little bit, and down. And our next warm up is for that twist to your spine. So get the spine moving apart, base of the skull, base of the spine stretching away from each other. Keep the shoulders down as you again bring your arms to shoulder level, palms up, hands above your shoulders. Clasp your elbows, spread your toes, stretch that spine apart, and exhale to twist. Take a breath, and in the twist, exhale over. See if you can keep your weight on both feet evenly. Just relaxing, lifting your sitting bones, arms by your ears. And then inhale, work your way up, lift your heart, drop your shoulders, pull your elbows back. Nice upper body back bend, releasing any tension in that shoulder area. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. And again, arms by your ears, stretch the spine apart and twist to the other side. A breath in, and again, exhale and come over, keeping the weight on both feet as much as you can. Take a breath there, just relaxing, let everything release a little bit more. 
And then inhaling, work your way up in the twist. Remember, upper body back bend, not any intensity in that lower back while you're twisting. Elbows back, chest high, shoulders down. Take a breath or two. And then inhale upright, exhale to the center. Shoulders stay down as you bring your fingertips up and extend it down. Take a moment there, spread your toes. And then shift your fingers out toward the side so you come into a kind of Y shape. Shoulders, shoulder blades, sitting bones down. Feel your whole body. Make sure your ribs are in and up, that lower back supported, the spine nice and straight, and your crown reaching toward the ceiling. Feel those shoulders, let them relax down. And then bend your elbows, bring them down to shoulder level, kind of goal post like. And again, goddess position, opening that heart in front. Take a moment, just breathing, pulling those elbows maybe a little further back. Take a moment, fingertips up to the ceiling, spread your toes out, check your core, make sure you're supporting that lower back. Stretch your head up, don't forget to breathe. And then bring your arms out, palms up, turn the palms down, and stretch out in T position. Just give it shoulder blades a little bit of release down and then going to turn the palms back up pull your elbows in toward your side and kind of flatten your forearms parallel to the floor so just notice what's going on through your shoulders don't do too much remember if it feels wrong minimize it don't go as far take a breath Relax and shake the arms out and release. Take a moment as you get back into mountain pose and allow your body just to relax. Now we're going to bring the hand onto your lower back, let's say left hand, right arm out, palm toward the ceiling, bring it up and reach across into the middle of your chest. And then take your Take your elbow up as much toward the ceiling as it wants to go and kind of push your head back to make sure you're not unaligning your spine. Take a breath. Exhale tension. Now bring that arm up, back out, palm toward the floor and down, and release the other arm. Bring the hand onto your lower back, arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder, but remember, keep the shoulder going down, and then again, bend that hand into the middle of your neck, head pushing slightly back. Take a breath, just relax. Feel that shoulder working, opening, breathing, all that tension out, just letting that shoulder area loose. And then again, hand up, palm out, down to shoulder level, and release both arms. Roll the shoulders a few times, back and down. Get that circulation going through that upper neck and shoulder area. And then again, just release any tension through that upper body. Take a moment and breathe. Bring your arms to T position again. And pull your thumbs into your palm, fists just gently around the thumb. And then turn one up and one down. Keep pushing out through the fists as you turn the other one up and the opposite one down. Keep everything nice and straight as you do that fist rotation. Just pushing out, pushing up with your head, spreading your toes, not gripping, keeping that core supporting your spine, just rotating through the fists. And then bring the elbow into it, a little bit more motion through that lower arm. And then bring the upper arm along. So the whole arm from the shoulder down to the fist, one is going up, one is going down. And then really get the shoulders working with it, a little massage action across your shoulders. Bring the shoulder forward as you push the fist toward the floor, but keep pushing out through the fists toward both sides. And just feel that whole shoulder area getting a nice gentle massage all the way across your back. 
Take a few breaths as you're doing that. Don't forget to breathe. And then release the shoulders. Keep pushing out the fists. And then just the lower arms and fists. And just the fists. And then both fists toward the floor, push way out through the fists, up through the crown, down with the sitting bones and shoulder blades. Spread your toes, lengthen your spine, stretch it out, and shake it all out, releasing any tension or tightness. And we're going to do eagle arms next. So it's going to work across the back of your shoulders again. So as you do it, we're not going to go into our balance part yet, but we will do that in a minute. So bring your right arm out, bend the elbow, fingertips up toward the ceiling, and pull that arm in close to your nose line. Other arm out, palm toward the floor, right at shoulder level, keep the shoulder blades down. And then fling the arm under and see if you can bring the palms together in front of you. Put the thumbs right in front of your nose. Pull the elbows down and in. If you can't get the palms together, the back of the hands is fine. So just feel that stretch across the back of your shoulders. Elbows down and in. Let everything relax. Take a breath. And then push your elbows out and your fingertips up. And feel what goes on across that back of your body again. Breathe deep. Exhale tension. Keep those fingers in line with your nose. And then fly away your eagle arms and just let that circulation return. Arms at your sides, just take a moment breathing and bring your left arm out. Bend the elbow, fingertips up, and bring that hand in at some point. Other arm out at shoulder level, palm toward the floor. Keep the shoulder, shoulder blades down, the core active, supporting your spine, and pulling it under. See if you can touch the palms on this side or the backs of the hands. And again, bring those thumbs in near your nose, pull the elbows down and in. Feel that stretch across your shoulders. Take a breath. Just relax it. Breathing. And then push the elbows slightly out and the hands up further toward the ceiling. But keep them in line with your nose. Take a breath. Relax those shoulders. Deepen into that awareness of what's going on in your body. Spread your toes. Activate that core. Stretch your spine apart. Relax those shoulders. And fly away your ego wings. Circle those shoulders back and down. And release your arms. So we'll do our balance warm-up just to check how we're doing today. So if you figure out which is your balance foot for today and get those base of the toes, ball of the foot area on the floor, lifting your toes, never grip your toes. Spread those toes out as you put them down, but as I said, no gripping. Make sure that they're just giving you position. Arches lifting, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up. That core is active, so ribs towards your spine and up, keeping that spine nice and long, and then bring the other foot up. So bring it as high as you want to bring it, and of course we'll work our ankle, because that's what we like to do, making sure that they stay nice and flexible. Take a breath, find your balance, step out and in if you need to. And then flex and point as you put that foot back down, transferring over to the other foot for our second balance side. So again, get everything lined up, core active, shoulders back and down. Spread those toes, tighten maybe a little through the front of the thigh, and lift the kneecap so that whole back of the leg gets a good stretch while you're doing this, and bring the other foot. And again, only as high as it wants to go today. It can be close to the floor or up by your chest before you begin circling that ankle. Do it both ways to make sure it's working nicely. And whenever you're ready to release it, flex and point and bring the foot down. Feel that connection through both feet. Shoulders back and down. Take a moment to breathe. And we're going to do eagle balance. 
Okay, so this is going to be more challenging. We're going to do the arms first and then we'll sink into the balance so that it's not too long. So right arm out, bending fingertips to the ceiling, pulling the arm toward the center. Other arm out, pulling it under. And again, see if you can touch the palms or the backs of the hands. Pull the elbows down and in. Exhale and relax. Bend your knees slightly toward your toes, not beyond. Spread out through the base of the toes, ball of the foot area, spreading those toes, not gripping. And then lifting the other foot, bring it across on top of the other leg. Put that foot behind your calf if that works for you. And then push your elbows out and your hands toward the ceiling. Take a breath. Push the sitting bones slightly back. Keep the spine as straight as you can. Get as much balance as you can. Exhale any tightness. And then fly your wings away and land your eagle. Take a moment to breathe. Feel those shoulders, bring them back and down. And we'll get ready to, yeah, balance the body with our eagle on the other side. So once again, everything's lined up first. The core is active, the shoulders are down and back. Left arm out, bending the elbow, fingertips to the ceiling and then in along the nose line. Bring the arm out to the other side and fling it under, palms together or backs of the hands, elbows down and in. And again, breathe a moment there. Let those shoulders release and relax. Keep the core active, supporting your spine nice and straight. Sink into your knees a little bit with a slight bend as you activate the bottom of that left foot. And again, knees going toward, not beyond your toes. And when you're stable on that side, bring the leg up and over. You can keep the toes on the floor if you feel challenged, remember. Otherwise, you can bring it up in the air or you can wrap it to the back of your leg if you're really flexible in your hips today. And then elbows out and fingertips up. Take a breath as you get into your balance. Push those sitting bones slightly back, stretch the crown away, breathe. Find your eagle. And again, when you're ready, fly away, stepping, landing down your eagle pose. Back in mountain pose, just take a moment, exhaling any tightness. Shoulders back and down a couple of times. Bring your left hand behind your back again, right arm out, palm toward the ceiling. This time, bring the hand to the outside of your head on the side of your left side and tip the ear over towards your right shoulder, just gently. Take a breath. Relax both shoulder blades all the way down. Just get a good stretch going on that side, as much or a little as your neck and shoulder want. Take a breath. Release any effort. And then bring the hand back out, palm toward the floor and down, releasing the other arm. Feel the difference. Mm -hmm. So we have to balance it. Hand behind your back, other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder, and bring it to the outside of your head. Pull it across just gently, not too much. You don't want to overstretch anything ever. Just let the weight of your hand work on that side of your neck. Take a breath. Shoulder blades going down. Just feel what's going on across that neck and shoulder area. And don't forget to breathe. And then releasing the hand, palm down, back to your side, and the other one relaxes as well. Circle the shoulders and make sure everything feels comfortable again. Take a moment and breathe, stretch up through the crown, bring your hands to your heart. Look at your hands and inhale them up toward the ceiling. Lift your heart as you pull the elbows back, the thumbs back, looking at them and stretching out through your head and fingertips. 
Nice upper body back bend, shoulders, shoulder blades toward your waist. Exhale, pivot forward, bringing your hands to your chest, pivoting out over, dropping into ragdoll. Pull in a little deeper with your hands behind your legs. Get a good stretch across that whole upper back and relax. And then release your hands to the front, spread your toes, bend your knees slightly, wind your whole spine all the way up, shoulders back and down a couple of times. Take a breath and just relax. Hands to your heart again. Inhale, coming into your back bend, looking at your thumbs, lifting your heart, swan diving this time, arms rotating out, pivoting again, arms right at shoulder level as you come parallel to the floor, stretch it out, drop into ragdoll, tuck in your chin. Slide your hands up under your knees, on your shins, and elbows, knees, and spine straight in that halfway up stretch. Take a breath, and exhale back into red dog. Just hang, move your shoulders around both ways. And again, back to the center and rolling all the way up. Take a moment as you get back to the top, and stick your feet just a little wide, angling your toes out with the knees going toward your toes, not beyond. And we're going to have the hands above your knees, positioning, not supporting. Stretch your spine apart. We're doing our twist, our shoulder to knee twist. So get a good long shoulder um, stretch out across your shoulders and a good long spine stretch to make it twist easier with those ligaments releasing. Exhale, bring that shoulder over across toward the opposite knee, and turn your whole body, hips, ribs, and shoulder, looking to the side. Don't just turn your neck. So take a moment and breathe. Deepen as much as you'd like. Bring that shoulder over toward the knee. Stretch the spine. Twist your body. Exhale. Turn back to the center. Stretch your spine long. Get it open again so we can twist yeah, to the opposite side. Shoulder down toward that knee. Hips, ribs, and shoulder turning as you look toward that opposite side. And again, lengthening through the spine all the way out through the neck. Breathing, sitting bones back behind you as well. Deepen, bringing that shoulder toward the knee, maybe a little more if it likes to. And exhale, any tension. And then turning back to the center, spine long. And round slightly as you bring your body back up. Coming again. Toes to the front into mountain pose. Feel the shoulders a little bit more worked, that spine a little more activated. And again, hands to your heart. Inhale, follow the hands toward the ceiling. Oh, let's do another back bend in that upper back and lifting your heart. Exhale, hands toward your heart, pivoting over, down into red dog. And then slide up into the halfway up stretch, elbows, knees, and spine straight. And bending your knees, transition to the floor. Hips back on your heels, hands at your sides, and forehead toward the mat. Take a moment and breathe. Just feel that whole back of your body stretch a little bit more. Exhale, any tension. And then inhale, sit up and come into staff position. So take a moment as you get into staff position, getting that core activated, shoulders above your hips, crown reaching to the ceiling, spine nice and open. And we're going to work the shoulders just a little bit more. So as we did when we were standing, but in a little bit different way, we're gonna tip one ear over to the side, getting that stretch on the opposite shoulder. And then the side you're tipping toward, bring that hand up, rest the hand on the outside of your head, no pressure, just weight. Take a breath there, just relaxing. And then bring your other hand, if you want, down to the floor, giving you a little extra stretch as you activate that. Take a breath, 
So if that ear keep coming down, remember both shoulders stay down away from your ears. You're not pushing anything up. The object is not to get your ear to the shoulder, just to give a good stretch to that opposite side. Take a breath, just relax it even more. And then releasing your hand and the hand from your head, sit back upright, feeling what's going on, knowing that, yes, we need to balance the body, do it to the other side. So tip your ear the other direction, decide your trip to tipping toward, bring that hand to have weight, not pressure, on the side of your head. Stay there if that's good enough, or bring your other hand down to the floor and give it a little extra stretch if you want to. Take a breath, just relax, let everything go. Allow the stretch to happen, don't force it, don't push, just let the weight of your hand do a little work. Take a breath, tension out. And then again, releasing the hands, tip your head back upright and feel your body. And then come into a cross leg position and yeah, we're creatures of habit, go ahead, do it the other way as we start because it's always good to remember that we like to do things evenly as much as possible. So take a moment, shoulders back and down, crown toward the ceiling, hands at your sides, bring one arm out, turn the palm up, bring the arm by your shoulder, bend that elbow and bring the hand into the middle of your neck. Push your head back into that arm above you so that you're not unstraightening your spine. And then take your opposite hand and pull that elbow maybe in a little bit more so you feel that shoulder open a little bit further. Remember, personal practice, never go too far. Just do what's right for your body. Head pushing back, elbow pushing up. And then take that hand that's loose and see if you can bring it around, bend the elbow, and clasp your hands behind you. If not, just hold the shirt and work them toward each other. So elbows in toward your spine, and then reach them away. So the one that's up goes toward the ceiling, the one that's down goes toward the floor. Take a breath, feel those shoulders, let them relax in this position. Make sure your head isn't pushing forward, your spine is still nice and straight. That core is activated, supporting you. Take a breath, just release any tension. And then unwind your arms and feel that whole upper body, a little more circulation for you as you switch the other leg to the front or top. Again, align everything, core activated, getting ready to do that same motion on the other side. Arm out at shoulder level. Palm up, hand above your shoulder, keep the shoulder down, bend the elbow, bring the hand into the middle of your neck, push your head back into that arm as you take your other hand and pull the elbow in and down, just slightly, gently slide that hand toward the middle of your back. Feel that shoulder opening even more. Take the hand in the air and bend it around. See if you can clasp on this side. Don't worry if you don't. Some people do neither side. Some people do both. And some people only do one side. So just notice what your body wants to do. Pulling those elbows toward your spine and away from each other as you push your head back to make sure that spine is staying nice and straight. Take a breath. Just relax into it. And of course, hold these positions on your own for even more effect. But for right now, just release those arms, circle the shoulders, and take a breath. We're going to be bring the feet to the end of the mat. We'll roll slowly onto the mat. And turn to the side. So you're on your right side, right arm out in front of you and bring your head down toward the floor. So head on the floor, whole body on its side. You can bring your foot to the front if you feel that that would be more stabilizing for your position. And then just keeping this hand on the floor, palm up, 
Bring your head up and reach that ear toward the opposite shoulder. So just a little shoulder neck strengthening here. Keep your body on the side as much as you can. Just lifting that head and exhale it back down. And then roll over to the other side. I'm just going to switch around so I'm facing you. And again, bring that arm out to the front, hand in front of you. Whole body on the side, head relaxing down. Take a moment, getting everything straight. And then raise your ear toward that opposite shoulder. And again, only going as far as it's okay for your neck. Don't overwork it. And keep those feet flexed. Or you can bring the leg out in front if that helps you stabilize on your side. And again, lifting that ear straight toward the shoulder, everything facing forward. Take a breath and exhale, bring the head back down. As you get down, just roll onto your back, straighten everything out. We'll do one quick twist before our relaxation. So sitting bones toward your heels, bending your knees, bring those heels near your sitting bones. Press the back down, feet off the floor, knees together, and just roll them over at hip level, turning your head to the opposite side. And again, feel that neck twist, just gently. Don't overdo it. Trying to look toward that hand behind you. Knees coming down through the lower back twist and keep the shoulders down, their palms up, their palms down, whatever works best for you today. Getting into your twist. Take a breath and relax. And of course, Get our relaxation, we need to release that. So heels toward your hips, roll onto your back, straighten out if you need to. And then bring those knees over, right at hip level to the other side. Shoulders down, head turning, just relaxing. Deep breaths, exhaling any tightness. As you breathe, let the tension go. Just feel your shoulders releasing down into the surface beneath you, feeling that middle back twist, knees toward the side, lower back twist, and of course your head turned for that neck area, just be gentle where you need to. Don't forget to breathe. And then again, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, slide the feet down next to each other, and hands, palms up, away from your hips. Shoulders down, take a breath, and just let your body grow heavy and sink into that surface beneath you, getting ready to completely relax. Breathe deep, tension releasing with each exhalation. Just let your body soften and sink into that earth support and let the tightness go. And as your body relaxes, just allow the awareness of your body to release from your thoughts. And draw your attention just to release any content of any other thoughts coming to you as well. It's the job of your mind to produce those thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Let them go at the moment, just breathing deep, exhaling, softening your body. Floating your mind, releasing your shoulders, allowing that whole upper back and whole body just to relax completely. And allow your mind to drift when your awareness just focus on the peace within. Deepen into your inner calm, letting peace guide you deeper.
course, keep relaxing as long as you have that opportunity today. And it's time to get ready for the rest of your day. Just begin drawing energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you begin breathing more fully, just begin stretching your body gently, however it feels right for you today. Breathing more deeply and stretching more completely. And whenever you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, draw your heels toward your hips and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its working yoga and the work your body does for you every day. Move your heads gently side to side along the floor. Bring your feet down to the mat and roll to the side when you're ready to sit back up and get ready for the rest of your day today. Thanks for joining me.